Hello everyone! Well, it is a few minutes early and I wanted to pop in a few minutes early because I said I'm going to share the babies before we get started. Who's first? Pretty. Oh, just like fell asleep. So this is the little blue-eyed boy. It, they're spoiled a little bit, I would say. Very, very calm um, little guys. So that's the little one. See how cute he is? So he's wonder where's the treat, right? So that's him. Now let me get the other one. Come on, this kid. This kid just fell asleep. Mm. And he is my lazy, lazy one. He is very, very lazy. Let me pull that down a bit. Here we go. So that is that little boy. Come on, I just fell asleep. So then, here they are. Granite, come here. Granite, gravy. It's hard to say just gravy. Come here. Soon I won't be, oops. Soon I won't be able to do this, but right now I can do this, but it won't be long. Here they are. Say hi to the camera. So that are my babies. So we're going to be starting here. Oops. So see that? So now they're going to go with their papa. Okay. Come on, boys. Come on. Dad, are you there? Okay, go get Daddy. Come on, Speedy. Let's go. Call him right. Oh, he's fast. Yeah, that's the Speedy one. I think I'm going to have to change his name to, um, <coughs> excuse me, to Speedy. He is beyond lazy, but he still go walk every day. What count, right? So I'm looking at the comment here. Here we go. Oh, we got a good crew here. That's awesome. Love it. The more the merrier, I say. So that is good. Okay, I'm going to pause that one. No, here we go. Perfect. So tonight, 16 part and the flip box the flip box it's super easy and quick so i feel i was running and i was not running. so first i want to say um thank you all for joining in it's 7 31 so i like to start the class good so only if you can keep me updated if the sound is good because i know in the past um that could have been a problem so we're gonna see so uh, tonight we got, and I forgot to mark it, so I'm going to mark it right now. Let me grab a piece of pen, a piece of pen, a piece of paper and a pen, and I'm going to give you the hostess code for tonight. So I know I bet all it's already advanced of me and already got it uh, marked down. I want a big marker though. You know what, when you want something you don't have it? Well, we're gonna use a pen, that's it. Okay, so it is the hostess code for tonight. It is 3PA, 3PA, that's a P, it look a funny P that I write, well, 3PA, 9YC, 9, Y C seven W. Yes, I count in French. So it is a three P A nine Y C seven W. So three A nine Y C seven W. With a note of thirty five dollars before the tax and the shipping. You will get the PDF file of all 16 parts tonight 
all the measurement, uh, the supplies, the color ink, and so on with a picture of every part. Also, you will get the pattern and all the measurement for the box. If you wanted the PDF file of uh, this month, the passport and the Frenchie steam, the it's a uh, eleven of twelve part uh, one sheet wonder that it's uh, with the paper. Uh, so um, share what you love, something like that. That uh, so it would be fifty dollars for the other two PDF and that one. So that would be eighty five dollars. But if you order. $75, I'm going to give you all three PDF files, but use the OSTIS code of tonight. And that and next Tuesday, if I remember correctly, that uh, this offer end. And really, this uh, the PDF file of um, the One Sheet Wonder and the Passport Pal that ends Saturday. And so all my detail, it's all on my blog. At FrenchyStamps.com. Here we go. Uh, okay, somebody said, uh, does anyone else hear a echo or is it just at my end? Yes, a faint echo. Let me check. Okay, let's see. I don't have no echo. Well, I like that. Okay, let's see one second here. Oh, one second. Okay, uh, hmm. I have a nickel, I hear a nickel. Okay, let's see what's uh, going on with that. I don't like a nickel. Okay. Some of us have a nickel. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. One second. Okay, do you guys still hear a echo now? I turn on uh, off something. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Echo's gone now. It is gone now. Awesome. Awesome. Sound fine to me. No echo here. I do not hear echo. Well, so far so good. Let's see. Um, uh, you know what? Let's see if that is gone and then we're going to get right at it. I'm going to flip you. Is it still echo? Right now, most people say no echo. Do you get echo at your end? And now is it gone? One, two, three. One, two, three. All good here. So I'm going to go. Right now, I see more. It's say gone. Let me know if it's still there, okay? Perfect. So we're going to get started and we're going to see if it's echo or not. Let's see. I'm going to flip you down, up, and down. Oops, I forgot to hang that up. Here we go. So, and I'm going to share to also the next project for, uh, this is uh, way bigger than it looked, um, the next project for July 14. So remind me at the end, hopefully I remember. So what we're using tonight for our card, it is on page one, good now, no echo, awesome, that's what I want to hear. It is on page 195. 
So on page 195, we are using this. It's $10 that include 50 double side cards. So we're just making 16 cards tonight, but you could make a lot more cards. So um, that is the main thing we are using. Also, if I don't know how many of you notice, let me flip this page right here. Right on the page beside it, 194, That's uh, the cards are on 195, right here, and then on 194, right here, you got the small cards and the large cards. So the large card, oops, are these ones. And if you compare that to our regular size card, here we go, you know when we do a A2 cards, See the difference? So this measure, a regular one measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And this one measure six. I want to measure twice and uh, give you the right thing. Yes, they measure six, six and a quarter. It is six and a quarter. I get all my stuff in there because I'm prepared. Okay, it is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you see, six and a quarter by four and a quarter. That is the large, and it comes with the envelopes. Now, the small one, let me flip this. Now I'm going to lose stuff all over. So the small one here, they measure um, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you're going to ask me, can we put that in the post office? Yes, you can. I went at the post office and checked. But, listen, it is a but there. You can uh, mail it, but you need the D stamp. Now it's, uh, it's like a wedding cake. It's called the two ounce or uh, non-mechanical. That's the one with the, used to be with the butterfly. Now it's this one. So really they are 71 cents. So you can mail it anything smaller than it's four and a quarter by five, I think something like that. Not sure on the measurement. You need a bigger stamp on it, more value because it's easier to lose, I guess, in, in the machine. So yes, you can mail them, but uh, more uh, postage on it but it's such a cute size card like if you um, get um, a gifts or so on to put that on top so that would be perfect for that also we are using today those new note card and right now I just flip everything and I'm afraid I lost some of this stuff um, the note cards are just uh, the page above that so 193 194 195 so we are using this one the delightfully detailed note card and envelope this is our regular size note card it's just like it's got that um wash on top of it and so um it's already print like that so you don't have to do that it's already the wash there so um that it's on page 193. These, you do not need extra postage. No, you do not. Okay, so now we're ready to roll that I told you where this stuff was coming from. Oops, let me flip that there. And then we got the two set I need to reach here. I cannot believe I... Uh, Okay, the two stamp set I'm using, it is the Healing Hugs, and that's on page 110, and then the Dandelion, Dandelion Wishes. You're going to see me use quite a bit of those stamps. Thank you all for sharing. I see some people sharing. Thank you, thank you. So, um, I show you in the catalog, here is one, I just use a few in this one. So, they are beyond beautiful, beautiful. 
So you get this size that fit perfectly on those note part there. See, and it's all two-sided. And then you get the big one. Well, it's no use to open it up because you're going to see uh, when we use it tonight. And also in that, you get, let me put that in, you get four sheets of the decal, the stick-on. So you get four sheets of that. Right now I get two because I used two on my sample and we're going to do the cards tonight. So that is, um, that all comes for $10. Very, very awesome price. So we're going to start with the big cards. And I got two giveaway tonight. That is correct. This is the giveaway. The stylus pen. See, a nice stylus pen. And it's a voila. Also, I got two embossing folder, uh, bone folder, that say voila with Frenchiestamps.com. Uh, so I'm going to have two winner, and the winner need to be present to win. So in other words, if you're running away and your name is Paul, you won't win. So one will get, oops, a set a pen and a bone folder, and the other one's going to get a pen and a bone folder. And we're going to pick a winner at halfway and a, win, a winner right at the end. So hope you're going to stay with us. So we're going to start in uh, the bigger card. So that's the large one that come in the memory and more. So I'm not giving you any measurement of this because it's already... Uh, you know, cut for you, pre-score, and also everything come with an envelope. So it's a win-win situation here. So this is the first one we're going to do. That's what fell right here. And everything come in that box that I show you for $10 here, all the, the top of it. So this is kind of a decal. And what i done on one... Let me uh, share with you um, one second here. Let me pull my uh, dauber. And that was mint macaron. I'm using just two, uh, three inks tonight. Basic black. That It's still back here. Here we go. I'm using basic black, grapefruit grove, mint macaron, and... Um, Blackberry Bliss. So those three colors plus the black. That is it. So what i done, and to be honest, I would skip this uh, step because you barely see it. I had to turn this around, put it this way, and I use my uh, mint macaron. Mint macaron. And I went and did some like this. You want to make sure that you line that up first. So I had done some of that, just a few here and there. But like I said, it's barely show. So maybe that is a step that you want to skip. But I still want to share that with you in case if you want to do some and have the whole thing color. And then you take this. So you got it there. And then you match that back. And voila, see, it all match. So that is one thing. I want to still share that, even if I think that, because the color are light that I use, and I still want to share that. Now I'm using the fine tip blue. Don't get fooled. This is not the fine tip blue. You see the different color in the under? Maybe you can see me. Yeah, when it's look clear, the other one, it's more uh, white. When I empty a, a one of this, I use Tombow Blue. You don't have to wait till it's empty completely. When it go about a quarter down, you can fill it with Tombow, Tombow Blue. That's a multi-purpose glue. And you're going to say how much and really pour it. So I'm going to keep on using this over and over. When it gets empty, I just pour more in it. The reason why I do that is because that... Um, for me, the Tombow, uh, it's much a stronger glue than the fine tip glue. The fine tip glue, I like it like 
or raindrop. It's kind of a, like clear and it stay raised up. So I like it for technique, put it that way. I do not like it to glue, but I love it for technique. Is that honest or what? Absolutely. If I don't like something and I don't like the way it works, I, I'm going to give you my opinion. <laughs> uh, some of you maybe like it. For me, I don't think it's strong enough. So it's whatever you like. But I love it for technique. Like I said, the raindrop, like I did a part with um, the river, the peaceful, uh, uh, peaceful place. And it's kind of the river. I use that on top of the water there. So it looked just like water. So I love it for that. So um, you can use it for many other things than gluing. Now I put that there. Right now, some of the thing I'm going to stamp, some of the thing I already pre-stamped. First, let me back up the bus. Uh, you saw I just put my needle in. I don't have no problem with mine. Some people reported problem. One thing you want to do when you're done, it's no use for doing it now because I'm going to use it over and over tonight. But when I'm done tonight, you want to bang it so the glue is going to fall out of the barrel and it won't get a chunk there. And then you want to put your needle inside this. Voila. Okay, so I pre-stamp, and again, it's with the um, Grapefruit Grove. I stamp just fussy cut. Fussy cut means end cut. Some of them I'm going to stamp. And this is a distinct, is that a distinctive ink? I thought so. I would say so. So, yes, it is. So, um, it looked like you used more than one color, but really you didn't. And I just use my wink of Stella and smear it on top of it. Really nothing very special. Just to give a little um, blink on it. And I bet you guys don't see much in the camera with the wink of Stella. But when you get the card in hand, yes. Now I'm going to put dimensional in the back. Yes, I like to put a few dimensional. So if you buy the dimensional from me, you want to cover the entire uh, the entire thing. No, I'm joking. You guys know what, where I'm going with that? That means I want to sell more, right? I'm just joking. Um, I'm going to put in the back some glue here. There we go. Now, the thinking of you right there that's one of the sticker right here peel that up and we're going to put that right at the top et voila and i got a flower inside see one card done boom and boom so we're going to move along like i said some of them are going to stamp some of them i pre-done the stamping so we got time See how quick and simple it was. Okay, next one. So I'm doing all the large one right now. And then we're going to go with different size. This one is a super, super quick one. So this one we get some stamping to do. So um, I'm going to use the Dandelion uh, Wishes and it's the three -er. The trio. So the one with the three, I call it the trio. And that's what I call it too, I think, in the, no, I think I need this, the PDF. So we're going to put that there. I'm using Memento Black Ink. Tap, tap, tap. And we're going to smash that right here. Voila. And then let's Go check. I did my envelope. All my envelopes are done too. And I got my inside done. Oh, I got some smear here. I don't know where that comes from, but let's see if we can. Okay, every time I use this eraser, I got many people where, where, where. Uh, for me, it was a gift. I think it's Louis that sent that to me. 
uh, it's by Tombow, the same brand in uh, the glue. It is by Tombow, and it's called Sand and Rubber Eraser. It's 510-8 mono. Here we go. Take a screenshot, whatever. Here it is. That's what it is, the eraser that... It don't erase completely all the ink, but it do a good job at it if you just get a little smear. If you get a big, big smear, forget it. It will not take care of that. But for little smear, absolutely. And again, this card, it's part of the kit, and it's a thing are good. Even if with a little smear of ink, things are good. Voila. Done. Number two is done. I'm going to put that there. Okay, I'm going to one there, one there. So number two, it's done. And inside, again, I just stamped this. Oh, I see this one. I used my Wink of Stella. Make a difference. And I just did my center with my Wink of Stella. My Wink of Stella, I mean, I think I drink that stuff. That's how much I love it. Here we go. Okay. Now, I see some people were late. Um, I will not start or whatever, but this is recorded. You're going to be able to watch everything when it's done. Whatever that you miss, you're going to be able to watch it. This one here, we need a little bit of TLC. So again, this is one of the, the cards. See how pretty it is. I am sure Miss Ollie at the other end, she absolutely loved this because it's kind of purple. In the back, it's a collect moment, not thing. Huh. That is a good saying. So we're going to put that right here. And this year, when you're going to see the box, that would make awesome Christmas gift for some people that get everything. So uh, right now it's not, I know Christmas, you don't want to think about Christmas. You just put your winter clothes away. But if you start now, when time come Thanksgiving and all the festivity, it's going to be nice that your Christmas uh, little gifts are done. So I want to shrink this down and I'm going to take just... Um, one eighth of an inch on each side so it's just one sliver each side don't matter but i already had cut my thing to the thing it cut my paper to fit and then you want to cut at uh i think it's uh three and a half here that's three and three quarters so you want to trim that at three and a half and the reason why i want to cut this one and you want to cut the top, not the bottom, because that would cut your wart. And the reason why I want to cut that, it was too long the other way. Uh, I like what it say. It say, I like it when you smile, but I love it when I'm the reason. I thought that is such a cool card scent. Yes, I love to send card, not just for birthday and anniversary and get well and sympathy. I love to send cards just because. And those just because cards get more love. I can get like, oh my goodness, she really loved me because she sent me a card. Not because it was a reason. So now you're going to take this piece and you're going to go more at the edge on the right edge. Okay, go more at the right edge of the wash here. Like this. Now again, I pre-done the flower, and you could do the wink of Stella again. So I show you how to do the wink of Stella, so we're gonna skip that for now. And I'm gonna put my leaf first about where I want it. Here we go. And then this is flat, no dimensional on this one. This one is flat. And I'm gonna put my roses right here. Here we go. That is it. Now we got another one done and inside it's our flower. So everything matched the inside matched the outside. See? And the envelope too. So you match everything. Here we go. Now we are done with the big one. Now, oops. No, one more. I'm sorry. Is that? 
all shut in this, but it's more than. Okay, let's go there. One more, I am sorry. And this time we're going to be stamping. So this one going to be on the long way. All the other one was laying down. The envelope. Okay, we need to stamp the envelope and this. This is just like the watch. I don't know if you can see. It's just like a watch. So we're going to use our uh, Blackberry Bliss. And we're going to stamp the Rose in Healing Hugs. So uh, I did a boo-boo on my first one, and I'm going to show you what I did. I started out, I was doing just one flower. See, it was this, and I thought to put this way. And I thought, oh, I want one this way, so I added more flowers. See, sometimes you can fix your your little boo-boo. So um, I'm going to stamp this randomly with Blackberry Bliss. So there, there, and there. And you see, it looked like I used more than one ink. You see, it's discoloration. That's the beauty of this. And now we're going to use our little leaf. And that's going to be in min macaron. Macaron. Oh, I still need this one. Let's move that. We're going to use... Here. And this, oh, dang it, I got, well, we're going to do this. Here we go. Cover my little ink finger there. Um, what was I saying? You see that this coloration, and that is normal. It's a distinct ink. No, you do not have a damage or a, a, a stamp that it's not, um, that it's damaged. It's perfectly fine. That's the way it is. It's distinct. Now we're going to use the envelope. Put our stamp right there. See how pretty it is? Remember that um, on the ink, not the ink, the envelope, you want that on the left side. Don't stamp on the right side. The post office don't like that. Why? It's because the coating when it go in the machine and that. So I'm not making that rule, that's post office. Somebody post one time why it was. And now I got it inside. So now let me close this before I put my elbow and everything in. Oh, I sure did. Okay, now we're gonna, oh, okay. My flower's gonna be at the top because I was thinking the bottom corner. So it's just gonna be at the top, that's it. It's gonna go this way. And then we're gonna glue this. And none of those paper I trim, nothing been trimmed, it's right out of the box. We're gonna put that right at the top, except the one that we just trimmed a little bit, or, uh, the card before. Nothing else I trim, that's how quick. I added a few pleats of uh, cardstock, Blackberry Bliss, Whisper White, Mint Macaron, and um, the Grapefruit uh, Growth. That's the only uh, thing you're gonna need. I'm gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna use, um, here it is. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. See, I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna use my mint macaron dauber. And I thought that was kind of plain. So what I done is just dab, 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 dab. And many people tell me they got a tough time sponging like this. It's cause you're being too soft and you don't hold your paper hard enough. So you wanna, Get a good drip, grip of your paper and see, I don't know if you can hear, really smack it and then you won't have no problem. Now we're going to put that right here. Voila. And this. And this one I put the flower there. I mean the leaves. So here's another one. 
So now we are done with the big one. Let's go to the next one. I'm looking if I get some with if I I'm gonna wash this just because I'm paranoid because if I use blackberry bliss um uh, grapefruit or uh, so on that's gonna be horrible. So let me I think I get my uh, no this is dry right now but I can do it though. Let me wet this here so I can. Uh, so that is the uh, chamois. And when I did my live when I did the catalog, I thought it would dry. Really, it's the edge get very hard, but the rest stayed pretty much moist for quite a long time. Ollie, Earth, she said like two weeks, I think. So it's awesome. And I lost the leaf. We will, oh, here, the leaf should be green at all times. We're good. Okay, now this one though, it is, you're gonna have to cut your cardstock. So it's two pieces of cardstock you need to cut in half at five and a half. Cause this is our regular size card. So <clears throat> I pre scan uh, this here. And again, this, you're amazing. That's the card and I stamp this. Where is my plain one? I had a plain one. Here it is. So it was like this. I had lost this one. And after I open a new package, of course, I find it. So I had to stamp another one for the cards. I'm like, well, it's still going to work. And the reason why this one I decided to mount it, I dropped my ink on this one. So I said, well, it's going to raise up. So it's perfect. So it's, it's stamped again with Grapefruit Grove. Somebody told me that... Uh, I was calling it grapefruit punch. Well, it's not grapefruit punch. It's pineapple punch and grapefruit growth. And then we're going to do that on our card. I already did the stamp there. Again, it's going to be at the top. No, I want it. Yeah, it's going to be at the top just because I didn't pay attention. See this one, it's in the bottom. So we're going to put that at the top. That's okay. It's all good. We're gonna put make sure. So I guess the voice it's good. Yes, it is a pack of two of each. Yes. So you get every design in the box, you get two of each. I just glance at the screen and yes, the answer is yes. And then we're gonna take this and uh, use dimensional. Here we go. And I'm gonna offset that just a little bit. The reason why I like to offset when I do 3D like that, when you offset, do you see, you get a little bit of ink past that, it gives you more depth than just on top. So then when it stand up, you see the shadow in the back, so it look more in depth. So it, I think it make a difference when you offset it. Okay, something pop up here. Okay, and then inside I got my flower. Now we're gonna use congratulations. And this time it's Groovy Grove, uh, uh, Grapefruit Grove. And oh, I need a little bit more inky on that. So um, adding some ink around these frame, it almost looked like you did another layer. So it's kind of, uh, you know, it give a little bit more depth again. So you see how quick it is, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna put that right at the bottom here. Voila, got my flower and I got my envelope. Okay, that's number one in regular size. So I'm going from largest to smallest if you notice. The next one, it's my art, it's full, thank you. I love those cards. I cannot say enough about it. 
So I just get the little leaf inside. And this again, it's the way it come. I didn't add nothing. I add my uh, extra layer in the back and that's grapefruit grove. And again, in the PDF file, you get every measurement. So everything is counted, everything is marked for you. Put that there. And we're going to smack that right here. And we're going to take our little thank you in here. And we're going to put that a little offset it here. Voila! How quick and simple it is. Yes, the rose, it's a new stamp set. Uh, that just got released in this year catalog. It's called Healing and Hugs, and it is on page 110 if my label is correct. Now we got, uh, I think this is one of my favorite here. I absolutely love this. It's the single dandelion with the pot seed. So envelopes. Envelopes are done. The inside are done, but not the outside. So again, the card come like this. Now we're going to go get our single um, single uh, dandelion. I call that one with the pot seed. That's the one that you don't want to see in your yard. That they're not yellow anymore and they're kind of white and they all poof in the wind. Because that means that they're growing. They're sending their seed. We're going to put that right here. Like that right there. Voila. Now you're going to take your Blackberry Bliss dauber. One where my. Okay. And you're going to start in the center. Okay. Go around and around and around and around and then go out. Just very light on the outside. I need more ink, though I didn't have enough. So if you just ring your dauber, you're going to start on the scrap paper first because it would be too dark. So you start in the center, roll, roll in the center, and then start going out very gently. Voila. Is that cool? Now, we will use our tanks, and that it's one of, right here. Be careful when you pull the tanks, because it's kind of delicate. Mine, uh, I was going too fast, so my litter, I broke it. I don't know, the H, the T, I broke it all. Uh, now I know. Be gentle. Um, if that happened, you know what? You just attach them back where they belong. I bet you cannot even tell where they were uh, broken, where I broke them, those poor little guys. Okay, now we're going to put the tanks right here. Voila, now we're going to add blue in the back of this, and this time we're going to layer with basic black. Voila. And then let's see that it's done inside. So inside, sometimes I did the trio, sometimes I did the one with the seed pod, whatever I felt like, I just did uh, the inside of the car. How cute is this? I mean, we spend hours sometimes to do those background, you know, with the wash and the aqua painter. Now they're all done for you. Now this is done. And this is done. Okay, the next one, it is just because that's the type of card that I was telling you that I absolutely love to send. So this one, it is the single one, but it is stamped in a Blackberry Bliss. So we're going to get our single pod. 
Here it is. And let's wash this because I know I used my purse and I didn't wash it. I had my uh, absorber, so it went quick. I don't know where I put the other one. Now, what I done, I, I would skip it, but I'm going to share with you uh, just because it is on the cart, but it's not much. You see my two seed pot there? So what I done, I put my my card right in the center without the backing there. Try to make that straight. And this is with Blackberry Bliss Ink Ink Ink. Here we go. And put that right. You see, it's just too, so if it would be bigger, but at least you get the groove of it. Now what I've done is we're going to glue this to our Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And we're using Fresh Fig, uh, the, uh, the ruffle ribbon here, this beautiful, beautiful ribbon. So what I've done is I'm going to add glue here and look here put my fingers about here i'm going to put a strip there i'm going at the first line with my ribbon in the back and in the back i was up <laughs> here we go re uh, secure that now these seed pod need to match with this so you see the little edge there so i know it go about here And then inside, we're going to do again. See, I just ink this part because that part won't be inside. I just do the corner. Boom. And then the same thing with our uh, envelope. Boom. That is it. So another one down the road. envelope put with my envelope see how cute it is quick and simple but i think that would make awesome gift also now we're all done with is that four could it be my goodness i don't think so we get one two three four of a regular size so we get four of every size so that gives you the 16. Now we're using the detail, um, delightful detail note cards. So that come with envelopes and come already the pre-wash. Now we're using the treer for this one. Oops, let's move that. Need some space here. Um, here we go. So the inside it's white and it's kind of cream. So I said white and cream. Now I think it's the new style. I don't know. I think so. Um, we're using kind of the purplishy uh, wash. See, and all of them got, see, that would have been a nice one too, friend. But we're using the one with the wash. Now we're using the three, the trio. So let's wash our trio here. Wash wonderful this chamois. Um, now we're going to use Blackberry Bliss. Tap, tap, tap. Smack. And then we're going to put that on white. Put this on white. And then we're going to use It's Your Day. I'm going to put that right at the edge here. Put that there. Now I got a little piece of um, um, Blackberry Bliss. We're going to put that right at the bottom here. We're going to leave about oh, maybe um, not even a quarter of an inch. And I cut my paper a little bitty bitty too big. 
that's okay. Never cut from the front, cut from the back. So then you can see where you're going. If you cut from the front, it's too easy to cut inside your card. Always cut from the back. Okay, now we need, in this year, you get those two little scallop. And we're going to need one and partial of the other one. So I'm going to put that right at the bottom here. See, it's a little bit too short. I could have centered that, but I wanted the old thing. So I'm going to peel the other one. Well, maybe, maybe not. Here we go. And we're going to mount that right perfectly there. Here we go. Where do you cut? From the back. Yes! You got it. Bingo! Who got the answer right? Here we go. I'm going to save the other part because who knows, I can do a little something, something and need a little uh, scallop. And then we're going to take this glue, glue, glue and we're going to put that right here. Voila! And inside, oh, I'm going to go tap, tap. And I got my corner right there with my envelope that match. Et voila, my friends. How cute is that? Do you guys like it? Do I see some ore? Ora? Okay, now it is. I think I have two in one. With this okay this one go with this okay now I know what, what I'm doing okay this one here it's the single so let me reach for the single I don't know if that was in white berry bliss oh okay and I didn't wash it so perfect tap 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 it's the little thing is that the truth it's always the little thing that make a difference I'm gonna put that there and I get the inside I get the envelope we're going to mount that. And did you notice one was more like a wash all around? The one that I should have shown you that. And then this one, it's more like lines. So that's the one like with the lines. We're going to put that right here. And then I should add a little strip of white that maybe it fell someplace. Let me grab one. And I don't know the, the measurement. I think that's about right. Oh, it is the same dang thing. So that's good. So uh, let's cut that at three and a half because that's the length of this. So let's go at three and a half. Boom. I think it's three and a half. Yep, seem right. And we're going to put adhesive in the back. Put that right at the edge. Voila. Now I got a piece of the ribbon again. We're going to put that right here. So put our adhesive down here. We're going to put that right like this. Oops. Come here. And there. I always like to put that adhesive on top of my ribbon just to reinforce it. This was Hawkeye a bit, and we're going to put that right here. Now, this one here, I did this very different this time with the bows and whatever the knot are, just because a lot of people keep on uh, telling me they're challenged with bow. Well, if you're super challenged, and even my easy bow, it's too hard for you, you can put your ribbon like that, take a piece of. Um, of ribbon and it's easier if you do your knot before you cut it really but I want it to be more prepared just do a knot cut diagonal and cut diagonal and you see the bottom went up the bottom went up so you want to go in the same direction now we're going to use a glue dot so I think this ear, it's as simple as it gets if you want to have a kind of a little bow, but your bow challenge. 
I think that's going to do the trick. Now my stem is here. We're going to put that right by the stem. Smack that there. Et voila. You got it. So that way, if you're very bow challenged, this should do the trick. Now we got our envelope that match. It's stamped on the inside. And we're ready to roll to the next one. Now the next one. Oh, 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 I didn't close my thing. Bad girl. Okay, the next one, it is, oh, this one is fun. I, I was excited about this. Can you tell? Okay, I got both of my, um, this done. I got both of my, okay, go away. Um, both of my inside, I stamped the dandelion just to get something inside. Okay, I add this and I couldn't decide. See this one, it's like the wash. Well, I got this one, it's a vacation day. So, well, and I sponge all around. I, I pre-done that in advance. I figure you guys saw me sponging. I just took the mask, that's part of the kit, and I put it on vacation day. So you see in the back, it looked like I get different color, but you cannot see it's vacation day. So, what you're going to do is take, uh, I like Tombow glue, whatever the, this is Tombow, if you just join in, I, like I said at the beginning, I refill my uh, fine tip glue with uh, Tombow, and, oh, that's too much BB, and um, that's what I like to use for a little detail like this, so we're just going to do this. And these, I didn't trim this, nothing been trimmed. That's the size that it come. It's a little bit smaller than the other size, so you can overlayer like this. So now you see vacation day. I just took this, and yes, I did sponge around. Just a little tiny border. Tiny, tiny, tiny. There we go. Et voila. You cannot tell it's a vacation day, but you can tell it's different color in the back. Is that cool? I thought it was cool. Yeah, I'm patting myself in the back. I just thought it was a good way to use that. Now we're going to see that was another nice wash in the back of this. I could have put that too, but I, li I did like it brought some colors in the back of this. Now I use uh, Best Friend, they are side by side here, Best Friend in the green. So let's, uh, oops, pull this up, pull this up. And I just went off a little bitty, bitty, bit. See, like this, and then I put that right here. Voila, another one done. Another one bite the dust. <laughs> Another one bite the dust. Oh my goodness, I'm singing. Woohoo, watch out. Here we go. Now, let's go to the next one. Okay, this one. Envelope, it's done. Envelope, it's done. This is the nice discoloration. I love it. Okay, this one, it's the three herb we need to wash this because I know it was uh, in the blackberry list last time. And let's put this a little bit. You know what? I need a bit more water on this. I should have wet it good before I started, but I didn't. Here we go. Now we get that. We're going to stamp that in black. Tap, tap, tap. Voila. And we're going to put that right here. And see, it's not another piece of paper there. That, that's the way it comes. We're going to mount that on the black. Like this. Turn it around. More glue. And... Uh, Pat said she mixed hers and it's good. Me too. When I started, Pat, I mixed mine with some leftover um, 
You want to mount that a little bit more at the top than the bottom. You're going to see why in a second. With my fine tip glue and my Tombow and it was perfectly fine. Now you're going to use this one here, this shape with the uh, grapefruit uh, grove and the white. Use that one and use just a note, the scallop, just a note. And you're going to put that right here. So that's why you want it more at the top and less at the bottom. I lined the little edge and the little edge there so I know it's straight. And just a note, try to line that up pretty good here. Oops. Bit more over here. Here we go. Call it good, my friend. Here we go. So that is it. A little drink of sweet tea. Gonna get hyper even more. Here we go. Now we got another one. And inside I did again the dandelion. one. I matched my inside with what's out there. And if it's nothing, I had the flower or the thing. Now, this one it's a little bit different. We need to bring the big shot. This, I cannot say enough about this folder. This folder looks like nothing in the catalog. You cannot even see what it is. It's called the Siddle, and it is 143706. If you guys been with Stamping Up for a long time, about like five years and older, do you remember we used to have picture paper? This is what it remind me of. So what I done, I took this piece here, and this is part of the card, and this is part of the card. Look, that was the vacation day too, so I used two of them. Um, I'm gonna glue this here. So you could use another one, because we already used vacation day, but I had made a mistake and I had two, and I had another pack. You're gonna put that right at the top, on each other like this. You're gonna take your hello, and be gentle with hello, because it's very pretty. We're going to put the hello right here. Okay, now we're going to put this in our embossing folder. Okay, so see, it's kind of, I'm going to show you smooth. And I bet you won't be able to tell the difference, except if you do it at home. Now, I got that in my folder. I'm going to run that in the big shop. Paper fill off. Okay, um, this is a thick embossing folder, so you don't put a clear plate in the bottom, just one at the top. And voila. I don't know if you can see how rough it is. I bet you cannot see. I'm looking through the camera, it don't show much. I just love the texture of this. Love it, love it, love it. So now we're going to use, get my little loops there at the bottom. We're going to take this, put that right here. Oops, I fold that a bit too high here. Let's fix that here. Put that right at the top here. And then we're going to use, um, it's those uh, new color pearl that we got. Or did I slide them? Oh my goodness, where did I? Here they are. It's the one with share what you love. And we're going to use those little flowers. And I got three of them. So just put them randomly wherever you feel like. Okay, I don't have the patience for this. 
Well, let's take another one. I don't know what I did wrong with that one. Here we go. And here we go. And I use all, oh no, I still have them. So we're going to use our little squares here. We're going to use this one. Match that good. There we go. And here we go. And inside I got the leaves. And the it's on the outside too. So this is done. And now we're on the mini. If you notice, we're on the mini. We're almost done. Almost. And then the box, it's split second. It's done. Now it's, let's celebrate. So envelope, envelope, it's done. Inside, inside, it's done. This is, if you blame my friend, this one going to be done before you open your eyes. Let's celebrate. Again, it's all part of those. Oops, I got glue on my hand. Back up the process, uh, slow down the process a bit. Uh, it's all part of um, that box. For $10, you get 50 cards. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. So, yes, it's all that for that. And here, you did it. Let's celebrate. And I sponge around. I didn't sponge this time. I just smacked it down. Here we go. Here and here. All done. Oh, oh yeah, one more. We're going to have a drawing here in just a few minutes. So if you didn't leave a comment, to leave a comment, you have to be logged in in your Google account. If not, when Facebook is live, it will not let you um, leave a comment we, um, just when it's live. So I am sorry. And we're going to have a drawing. Uh, Ollie take the, the one that leave a comment, and that's how she enter you guys in the drawing. We're going to have a drawing in a few minutes, and you have to be present. So now I'm using the three-quarter punch or the one-inch punch. One inch punch. I'm going to use the one inch punch. Use, uh, punch it one circle. And I'm not paying even attention what it's the center or not. It's our, it's homemade, so you don't have to be straight. I'm going to cut that in the middle and turn it around. And so you're going to have your circle in four piece of five. So your pie in four piece. Now... And let's take my art, it's full. And I think that's one to I have used twice. And we're gonna put that right here. And I thought it was kind of plain, right? So what I done, we're gonna do corner. Corner, corner, corner. And we're going to use our pie. You're going to put a piece of pie in each corner. See how simple this is? Et voila, very simple. And then inside, it's another card. It's say, uh, my art is full, I'm so grateful. That's going to go right here. Oops. And then this one, I use a grapefruit grove. I can reach a piece. This one, oops, one second. This one I did the same thing, but instead of doing it right at on the card itself, watch what I done. I thought that's cool. Don't know if you guys remember in, in way back um, our photo album and that we had kind of 
pocket or corners. That's what it reminds me of. So what I done, I did the corner right at the edge there on the card. So I'm going to do two at a time and then go right here. And I don't put it on the card itself. I put it on the base of the card. Oops, come back here again. So it looked more like a pocket instead of just of the on the card. I'm going to show you to you in a second there. You're going to understand what I'm saying. I thought that, hmm, I was like, I can do that more often. I kind of like that, the way that I uh, put whatever, the pocket. This one on this corner, you want maybe to lift that up to make sure you don't pass the side there. Okay, let me close this. Okay, see the difference? It's right at the edge there, so it looked more like a pocket. Photo corner in the past, yep. See, and this one I did here, so now you can see the difference. That it's more just like a corner. Oops, this one I went a bit too low. That's okay. I said it was all made right in here. So is that fun? So see, I don't know if it's something new or not, but I thought it was cool. Here and here. Good. Now, last but not least. Um, again, it's the same corner, but I already show you what it was. Oh, this time it's the three or is that in the black? Yeah, the three O of the dandelion. And you make me smile. There we go. And hmm, it's going to be at the top again. That's funny. There, it's going to be inside. It's going to be at the top. Top, bottom, corner, side. It, it's all good. I'm going to reinforce that there. Put that right here. Okay, that was 16 cards in about an hour. Because I was talking and we checked for the echo in that. So not bad at all, my friend. 16 card in that, right? So now we're going to have a drawing. Let me just remove a bit of stuff here. I said good stuff. So we can do our box. And the box, it is quick. Very, very quick. Because I need space for my um, dimensionals. So Holly, if you can pick me a winner and do uh, contact me. Let's go someplace in here. There we go. Good enough. Oops. Here we go. So that was the healing art. Okay. And see, I still have some of those uh, stickers still. I didn't even use them all. <clears throat> okay. Let me... I'm missing here it is okay let me bring my um okay let's see if ollie got a winner yet okay as soon as she get a winner we will i will announce it but in the meantime we are time for a little drink of water Okay, let me push you up here. And I'm going to have to twist this thing here. I need to bring you guys up a little bit here, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I want you to see this. Okay. 
So we need two pieces of cardstock for this. One piece of cardstock measures six and a quarter by 11, and the other piece of cardstock measures six and a quarter by six and a quarter. So the six and a quarter by six and a quarter, it is the I see congrats barn. So it must be bar. So all Barb Hall from Pennsylvania. Please, Barb, email me at crunchystamps at hotmail.com with your mailing address, and this is what's going to be mailed to you, Barb. Congratulations. Here we go. We're going to add another winner. I want to shift my blinds here. When it gets dark outside and my blinds are open, I feel somebody spying on me. Uh, we want to have another winner at the end, but again, you need to be present to win. So we're going to start. So a six and a quarter by six and a quarter, it's the cover. Six and a quarter by 11, it's the body of the box. You want to see the box or I should just keep on going? Here it is. So this is the box. Um, let me move this here. So why I call it a flip box, see, it flip. Every size is going to fit in it. Can you fit all of this in? No, it would be too big, see? I would, you fit easy half of it, or I bet you can fit more than half. You could fit uh, like 10 of them easy, I bet, with um, the envelopes, very easy. But if you put a lot of bling on it, well, then you won't fit as much. And then the little box. I bet I got 10 there. See, I got, I did all the big one and I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight. Exactly 10. I got all the big one. And that would be my max that I would fit in. 10 of the cards. And they all fit. So when you see it, I call it my tower box. So you see it go in tower. So very simple. Very simple. So we're starting with a six and a quarter by uh, 11. Now I like to add my wax paper. And if you ask me why wax paper, it make my um, stylus st uh, glide better. Some people say they rub that in wax or whatever. I like my wax paper. Um, now we're gonna uh, score at three quarter. See how it's just go like cutting butter, not frozen butter, but melt butter. And five and a half. So three quarter and five and a half. Turn this around and you're gonna score at six and five eight. I did the easy one first, but it was not just quite right. So you want six and five eight. And what is five eight? You count every line. So one, two, three, four, five. It really it's the line, the first line right after the F. But if you get confusing, each of the line count one because you get eight. So you just go one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to score there at seven and three, eight. So again, three, eight, I know it's my line right after the quarter because I eat and sleep and all that in my measurement. But if you're not sure, you go one, two, and three. And you don't count the number itself neither. So seven, you, it don't count. So you start after one, two, and three, okay? So that is it, my friend. That's the only score. I mean, it's simple. And then we're gonna do the six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And that I'm gonna store a score at three quarter and one and a half. I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna, Four at three quarter and five and a half. And that is it. Grab it. Uh, 
a round of applause. Oh, oh, I lost something, but that's all good. Okay, I'm bringing the big shot this time because you need to see this part. Uh oh, I skipped my line here. You know what? I need to score that again. One second. I didn't see that when I jumped. I jumped my line when I was scoring. So let me. That would have made a big difference. I just noticed that. Okay. Let's bring the big shot. And at the big shot, we are using the framelets. Well, uh, it's someplace in this mess here. It's those, oh, here it is. It's called Delicate Lace Detail. And we're using uh, the fancy, fancy one here, this one. The medium-sized one, I'm going to say. Okay. We're using that. Because it's so detailed, I'm using the precision plate. I don't use that often, but when it comes to detail, I like it. So the precision plate is going to take the place of, um, of a clear plate. And let me, here we go. I cannot go higher, I think, for you guys to see. Here we go. Here we go. So you still need the tin adapter and then the precision plate and um, your uh, cover. And the cover, this is the score line. You won't cut there, okay? Put that right here. And it's just barely a little bit wider than your plate. So just center that the best that you can. Take your uh, plate and line that up right at the edge. See, I think you can see in the, this uh, screen here. And put your plate on, your clear plate on top. I'm holding it with my hand here till it engaged good. Now I'm gonna roll it once and it's tight, it's just normal. And then again. Okay, now that I got that done, normally I would like to send this type of uh, framelet or pinlets framelet, I would like to send it this way. Well, so it roll easier. Now it's a big boom and boom. It's not what I prefer. But for this, it was it was too much at the edge and I couldn't make it work correctly. So that's why I did it this way. If somebody tells you you should not do it this way, you can say at exception of a cover box. Really, it's better if you put it more like kind of in the center and put it this way. But this was right at the edge that it wanted to bend my blades there. So that is the reason why. So if somebody tell you you shouldn't do that, say, oh, yeah, somebody told me not to do that, but she did it. That would be me. Okay? It's just, it make it harder. Put it that way. Now I'm bringing this. That's my foam and my brush. It's a, it's a friendly one, put it that, that way, with, with the precision plate. Now you're gonna take your scissors and where you get exactly, it's kind of a score line there, snip that right there, you wanna remove that, and right here, you wanna remove that. And I think I get most of it. Okay, so it's kind of delicate, right, for a box. So that's why I went in the back and we're going to reinforce it. So let me move this. And 
and we're going to use our bone folder now. Something seems not to jag here. One minute. Uh, something it's not right here. Let me measure that to right. Nope. So let me uh, bring back my scoreboard here. Something, I didn't uh, score something correctly, I think. Nope. So you score at three quarter and five and a half. Okay, that extra uh, thing there, what I'm going to do, turn it around and go back in the bag and, or you can take your bone folder too. Take your bone folder. Because I had a score that was wrong. So that's how I fix a score. I'm not starting this over. I'm just fixing my score and it won't show. See all the mistake that I made? My goodness, it's a good reason why. So then we can all learn from my mistake. Now, before we assemble that, we will um, scan our uh, dandelion. And was that in black or purple? That was in black, so let's wash that. I want it in Blackberry Bliss. And there we go. Love that thing. I need to keep it on my desk. There we go. Now we're going to stamp that right here. More, the score line, it's right there. You want to go at the score line about. Because you want your ribbon here. Okay. Now we're going to use the seed, the free for all seed pod, whatever it's called. And come here, little guy. Put that there. Okay, so here you get your score and the long way. The long way stay at the top there. Oh, the score right there. Just score that. And we're going to stamp this here. I just go randomly. Here we go. Oh, I still can't do right here, maybe. So that's for your box. So now we get the stamping done. Let me remove that before I do add a mess. And, oh, I put that away. Okay, so that is done. Now we're going to take this, reinforce this. So where the big shot really leaves some mark on the side, just make that flat. See with your bone folder? Put that flat. Because it leaves a line, because like I said, it's a tiny bit too big, but that's okay. You're going to remove this like this. Be careful at the, din at the, the dental, <laughs> the detail there. Now you're going to take your, um, that's a Blackberry Bliss, do a strip of adhesive right there. And what i done is just add a few draw, oops. Now I just put too much glue there. Here we go. Just do a few drops here and there on the lacy part. Here we go. So it make it more secure. Don't go too much on the side because you won't have the paper there. There we go. Let's see if that is good. Okay, this paper, it's a bit too small. Let me cut another one. I'm not happy with that paper because I put too much uh, adhesive too far. Blackberry Bliss, where are you? <clears throat> okay, that's going to be better. And Okay, let me go. I'm standing up here so I can see better. Ah, perfect. There we go. That is 
much better. So if you cut your piece a little bit too short, like I give the dimension, just be careful when you put your glue, just put it lower. I went too high, so I had to uh, cut another piece. And I'm just going to shave that a little bit here. And the reason why, it's to pull nicer. So I'm just... Here we go. I shave about the thing of the... Uh, the score there. Okay, now we're going to reinforce this. We're all done, my friend. Now, you're going to take this... And the square, the square need to be removed. And again, uh, you, um, the PDF file come with a little bitty order of $35. And I really appreciate all the ones that shop with me. That's what keep me going. This is my full-time job, so somebody has to bring the bacon on the table. So thank you so much to all that um, support me, that place order. And again, uh, I'm not saying this uh, to take away from your demonstrator, whatever. But remember, we shop at more than one place for grocery store. So it's the same with Stepping Up. You can shop more than one place. So if you love what you see and you learn, I would appreciate your order. Now we're going to fold this here. Score, score. And score and score. And then we're going to fold this. Fold. Now, you're going to turn this around. You're going to cut the square. Sometimes I stuck it just under, but this one, it's very tight for the card. I want it to remove completely for this one. And this box, I'm going to be honest with you, with this box, when I designed this, I didn't fill the trash can. I didn't kill a tree to design this box, so I was very impressed with uh, myself. Sometimes when I design box or cards, or it doesn't matter, I mean, till I get just the right side to fit the cards or the chocolate bar or whatever it is, I waste quite a bit of paper before I can get uh, the right side. So you guys don't see what I, you know, what I do to design it. You just saw, oh, it's an easy box. Well, yeah, this one, it's an easy box. So, so remember, it's a little bit more that went inside before it came to the camera. Now it's going to get fold this way. And you, oops, you see the front, this is kind of the front here. The short part, it's the front. The short tab, that's where you're going to put the glue. Do not put the glue on the long tab. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now we're going to use Tombow. And I like to use Tombow for that because it gives me the chance. It gives me, mm, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm. Um, it gives you a chance. Ooh, this one poop all over. Um, it gives you a chance to uh, move it and reposition it. So remember, only put on the inside of your short tab only on the short tab now you're going to take this close it down you need to line it up at the bottom never mind the top that's not important right here at the bottom right here at the bottom you want to line this up at the bottom so it's straight flush now it's kind of hard to put the pressure on it so what you want to take Take your bone folder, put it down, and press it. Press. Turn it around and press. And that is the reason why, because you don't have much to play with, and that's why I like the tumble with that. Because uh, the tear and tape would be great for box, 
but if you do off a little bit then you cannot move and this one it's kind of very uh oops this wire see the little air there when i trim the corner here we go little air cut so now we're going to put the cover how simple it is okay on the cover the top here that's where you're going to put your adhesive only at the top so it's going to go in the back and on the side it's going to hug on the side so inside again combo is going to be on the first part only on the first part only if you put it beside on the side and that it won't open so now you're going to take this and i like to put this way to be honest upside down upside down match it on the side match it on the side see you went upside down and then see if it flop down good it does it's straight and it's straight now that it's done we're going to use our um this is the mini ruffle ribbon this is fresh fig we're using um i think yeah fresh fig we're using a uh, blackberry bliss but it was matching almost perfect it's hard to tell on those things by the ink what's different i'm lo looking for my big scissors so i know i give you the measurement for this but why measure tonight while well, i can just put this like this we got one more part put your finger in the, there do the bottom take the top so you see it's like this you want your bow to go this way so you're going to twist this this way oops let me start this back you're going to take this the um the one coming from the right going to go at the top the one coming from the left go at the bottom now you're going to take the one from the bottom bring it to the top do and uh, tie it up this way you're going to crisscross it you want your ribbon to go up up and down your book going to go in the other direction put your finger here you don't need the third child or your husband or whatever you just put your finger keep it there now it's good you get the loop at the bottom you do the loop at the bottom you take the top of the ribbon you bring it to the right around your ribbon and then the loop right there on the left pass it through and tie and voila now i bet you're going to say redo this i'm going to say when it's done just come back and rewind and rewind oops this one wanted to twist there you can rewind as much as you want and get the perfect bow go you know to the left to the right to the left to the right here we go so then you can see how simple it is to do uh, the bow i know the bow can be more challenged but remember when you tie it first this way you're both going to go in the other direction if you tie it this way you're both going to go this always going to go in the other direction et voila how cute is that so now we got our easy flip box I mean super easy how easy that was and then we got 16 cards do you like it i'm going to be able to tell you if you like it if you um place a little order with me now july 14 let me flip you so i can talk to you i like to talk uh, to people more face to face right and then you're going to have the other winner Here we go. So uh, July 14, save the date. It's a Saturday. It's going to be at 930 Mountain Time. July 14. Is that the cute, cute little, um, it looked like a beach bag. Oh. Come here. I had, I had some glasses in here. Yep. Here we go. How cute is that? So that's going to be one of the projects very cute little uh bag 
and I get those little new flowers in it. Very cute. And then I get three cards with the bag. So one of the cards, it's, oops, here's my measurement. One of the cards, it's like a po the pocket. It's all from the same set. And it's get place for a gift card too. So it's kind of a Z fold, whatever. So that's one. Here's another pocket with the sunglasses. So it's really a summer uh, party. It's going to be put it that way. And here is, this is uh, the window sheet here. Way cute. So that's going to take place on July 14th at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Also, starting Sunday, um, starting Sunday, we got an unbelievable uh, deal going on. If you want to join my team, anyone in the U.S. of 18 and older can join. It's still the $99 and 125 a product of your choice. So you choose anything up to the value of 125 And on top of it, you choose an entire family of ink pad. So you can choose the neutral, the regal, the subtle, the brights. One of them or the in color. The in color just come in five colors, but you get both of the in color. So it's still thin ink pad. So you get last year in color plus this year in color. So you get to choose that. That, if you buy the entire family, it's $67.50. Or if you buy the individual ink pad, it's $7.50, I think. The price change, I want to check twice. Yeah, $7.50. So really, it's $75 value. Or the old family, if you buy it as a family, it's $67.50. You get all that over $192 or $97 value for $99. And, yep, it's shipped to you for free. So, and it's no, no string attached, no gimmick. I'm going to have a big post on Saturday. I switched my post around, so it's going to come Saturday. And also, if you go at FrenchyStamps.com, right above it says question and answer to join my team. You can click on that or contact me. Also, you're going to be able to see the catalog at the end of July. That's a holiday catalog, pre-order in August. Because no matter what, even if you say, I, you know, it's not for me, you're still going to be part of it. You're going to be part of it till the end of uh, January. So you would see the occasion catalog too. And also, one of the best things, you're going to be part of Frenchie's team. Awesome, awesome. So think about it. I would love to welcome you on board. Um, and I'm sure um, we would welcome you with open arms. So uh, um, that's a great deal. Also, we got um, the holiday catalog now that I talk about that. That just starts September 1st for customer. But demonstrator, we see it at the end of July. And we can pre-order in October. Um, we can pre October in August. So, Ollie, do we get another winner? So, now we're going to have another winner, and that's going to be it. So, an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes, minus the echo. I think it was no more echo after I turned something off. So, let's see. We got Barb all that already, um, that was the first one. It's through your email program, not YouTube. Mm, not sure what they were talking about. If something was not answered, you can always contact me. So let's see. We Don't run away because we get the next winner. You have to be live. Soon we're done. You have to email me. So Ollie, do we get another all uh, winner? I bet she's rolling everything. Barb's still here. So Barb, just make sure you email me. I know you're still here. So it won't be long. Ollie's going to... It's a de it's a delay in the YouTube and me. You know, I know I'm like, okay, 
Well, it's a delay in between that. So let's see. Um, that's funny because I see all the comments rolling. Mm -mm. Won't be long. It's coming. It's coming. So I hope you enjoyed that. And like I say, I enjoy doing those uh, class. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for sharing. That's another way that you can help me uh, build my business. Sue, Holly, Holly, where are you? You know what? Maybe, maybe she sent it to me and it's not coming in. So let me call because sometimes we get a delay. So let me call. Do we get a second winner? Judy Estrada. Okay, thank you. It is Judy Estrada. I don't know if I say that right. Yeah, the thing was not coming in. So Judy Estrada, you are the second winner for a bone folder and with the engraved with voila and a can that say voila so thank you thank you so much everybody for uh, joining us i really appreciate your business i appreciate your support have a lovely rest of the week and soon the weekend tomorrow night live on youtube quick uh, cards uh, youtube and uh, not youtube but facebook it's called uh, friendship create on the fly that is thursday night at uh 6 p.m. Mountain Time, every Thursday night, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. So uh, thank you all, and have a lovely rest of the evening. Bye-bye for now.